in creating out that profile is how best do you have suggestions on how best to work with clients in creating this profile? And yes. then somewhere I saw you had like a printout of everything. And I wasn't clear on how to get that printout once the, the profile was created. First question is how to work with clients. Let's say if you have three different clients operating in three different niches right they have their specific business uh, you want to help them with the content creation plus a website project plus helping them continuing uh, evolving their research so step one will be having an onboarding call with them so set up an onboarding call and ask some basic questions like how, who are your audience like what what you are uh, targeting currently uh, most of the time sales people call it discovery call in discovery call you ask very basic questions like where are you at the moment what what are your pain points where you're struggling think of this discovery call the same call as kind of onboarding call for your customer and ask very basic question like how you are targeting currently what problem you're solving this uh, this initial 15 minute of discussion will give you enough information to get a start with the cold queue because the starting point is what kind of business you are in and who you are targeting. So still, when you start, my suggestion is try to get the uh, hunch feeling or the gut feeling from your client at this stage because they are also trying to find out and the way you wanted to approach this is that you want to find out the sweet spot between your client and the customer that they are targeting. So when you onboard the client, you will definitely know this client uh, has this education, this client is uh, working in this field. You will have some very preliminary information about this client, right? And using this information and this 15 minute discovery call, you can try to find the connection between what kind of audience uh, he's uh, or she is currently targeting and what is his sweet spot so what what kind of uh, education this person has already had, have or experiences already have and this sweet spot is important to find this niche uh, for your client so that that's the kind of intersection or you know connection between what he can offer and what kind of audience this person is looking and based on this then you can come up with the idea or advice or suggestion that hey you uh, you have your skills in this area but you are targeting perhaps a wrong audience right so so this investigation of 15 minutes will give you some direction to input inside growth queue and when you generate insight or go further th during the research you might come up either with new ideas that you can communicate with your customer or you might find some gaps so this is how you uh, sort of research this La last time if you remember i mentioned that this insights and everything is like reference research there is an executive summary on your table on this executive summary you have like main reference like main research points big problem big desire big question but everything this this is hidden in insights is for further reference and research if you're um, client and you have uh, like sufficient understanding and it depends on what time and effort you're putting with right. the client right it can be 15 minute initial call and can help you to get started uh, quickly with the client but uh, if you're having a more a deeper commitment in terms of what fee you're charging to the client then you can go more more deeper depending on um, your uh, your starting point what I would do is like um, bring this question or save this question somewhere and use this during the onboarding call. So if you're working right. with multiple client, just ask simple question and uh, you can you can get some uh, context from here. Uh, have the normal coffee conversation that you will have uh, on the call. Try to ask them like what industry, vertical, can you ask them, can you name one of your customer that you work with and this this can answer other questions as well because 
they will tell that they are working with one customer. His name is uh, Chris. Is uh, that much uh, 37 year old? Is uh, uh, this is one person that uh, your client knows? So try to answer, try to ask your client one person that they know well in their niche what problem desire this person has, and this will give you enough understanding of uh, also coming up with this information. So I would say instead of have a discovery call, but during discovery call maybe add discussions. I'm sure you might be having uh, uh, initial contact. You can also ask this question over email if you prefer that or just on a call. I would do it on a call because then uh, I can get more context. 